Hey guys, today I'm coming at you with a blender tutorial, the first one on this channel. We're going to be making this model that you see right here. It's a low poly floating island model and we're going to do it in just five minutes. This is a beginner friendly tutorial, so if you have no experience in blender, no problem. Let's get right into it. I'll see you in blender. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is install an add on. So go to your preferences, go to add ons. And you can type in mesh here, uncheck enabled add-on only, and then add mesh extra objects. Let's delete everything, then go center ourselves on the Z direction, and then go to add single vertice. Now you can control right click, and we can make a single vertex at a time. So the idea here is we're going to make the shape of the top of the floating island. So just kind of create a random shape. I'm going to go really fast here. Um, and once you're happy with that, you can zoom in and make sure these are connected. So you can either drag them really close together and right click them and then merge vertices. Uh, you can do it you know, by center. Another option is to click this option in the top right, which will auto merge vertices. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna kind of recenter this object here with all these vertices. And then the next thing that we need to do is create a face. So highlight the entire thing and press F, that will create a face. Okay, and then in the top menu, go to face, scroll down to poke face and select it. And so now you can see we have a lot of different faces to work with. The next thing you're gonna do is select the entire object and then extrude down and then S to scale in. And we're gonna kind of taper this eight more times, get all the way to the base. And then at the very end, when you set scale, make sure you set it to zero. And because I have auto merge vertices on, those should all merge into a single vertex. Okay, so now we're gonna create the lip of our floating island. Go into face mode and then select all the top faces, E to extrude and then scale and expand this a little bit. Now we have a little bit of a lip to it. I want to introduce a little bit of randomness into this model. So go into sculpt mode Then you're going to scroll down here and choose mesh filter and then also go up to filter type and make sure that that's selected to random and then just come in here and drag along some of the faces and you should see, you know, some very subtle differences, but it's going to move around these vertices at random a little bit. Now this method does tend to create some sharp corners. So I'm going to go back into object mode, go to add modifier and then add smooth. And then we can just kind of play around with those settings, you know, however you like and then do apply. Now if we look at our model it's got a little bit of randomness to it and we've smoothed out some of those corners. Okay so if we view our model from the side using the y direction just select all of the top two vertices here and then while in edit mode press p and then do separate by selection. Now you can see that we can move both of these two parts individually they're their own objects. So if we go and we shade by material you'll see that we don't have any colors so go over into the shading tab and we're going to add two different materials. The first material is going to be grass and now select the base object of our model and then create a new material again and then we can just call this base. We need to add a texture, so go add texture and then image texture, drag this over and then you can just click open and open the texture that you want. I'll leave this one in the description for you guys, it's a gradient palette, but basically just hook that up into base color and then we can switch over into our grass material and do the exact same thing again. And then just make sure that you reselect the proper texture. Okay, so up next is going to be UV editing. So go to this UV editing panel and then on the left side under the editor, change over to image editor. Then we're going to import that exact same gradient palette texture. Okay, then go to the right side, go into object mode and let's select the grass layer at the top. Go back to edit mode, make sure we select all and then let's look at this from the side view so we can just do from the X direction. Go to UV and then project from view. This is a really cool feature. So if we go over into the UV editor now, you can actually see that it's projected our current view and created a UV mapping of this. So we can actually color our object really easily using this gradient palette in this way. So you see I, I've dragged over this UV into this green area and then I've actually scaled it along the Y direction. That's because I want a little bit more variance on the Y direction. So now if we go back into the right side, we're going to also do this for the base. So select the base, uh, project from view on the UVs again, and then just do this exact same process. And so now if we go to into our material view, you can actually see our materials colors have been applied. So at this point, it's looking really good. There's only a couple more things to do. Um, you know, I think that maybe we could darken this grass a little bit. So I've moved this down in the UV editor. You guys can do you. 
So I am noticing that it's a little bit glossy, so I'm gonna go back into the shading view and then let's just expand this a little bit to have a better view, but basically go into the grass and turn down the specular. And then we can also go back into the base texture and we can turn down the specular as well. So to me, uh, you know, this, this looks a lot better for at least the style that I'm going for. But again, you guys are, you know, play around with this. And at this point we're done. So to me, I like this low poly effect. Uh, you guys can kind of see the final product here. If you want, you can select the whole object and then do shade smooth. This will give it a nice rounded smooth look instead. And here is a nice animated render of our floating island. That's it you guys, remember to subscribe below if you found this tutorial helpful. Peace!